G'day crew and welcome to the final video of 2023. Things didn't go quite as planned, I had a lot of camera issues on this trip and the fishing didn't go quite as planned either, as you'll see. But it was a relaxing trip, I did enjoy being out on the water, as always. 28th today, getting out for the last trip of 2023. I just off Cleveland, I'm going to drop the crab pots first and I haven't decided what I'm going to do after that. I've got an option of going outside or trolling around in the bay and I'll make up my mind when I see how many people are out here. I've got a suspicion it's going to be pretty busy on the water today. I don't know what's happening with the uh, action cam but I got a grinner earlier and I just got this fellow, nice pike. I'll uh, either stick him down for a live bait if I can find some uh, sign of snapper or, whoo, got something on here. And of course I haven't got haven't got landing net ready. Well we're moving along and got some weight on the line I might Let's see if I can do that. Oh, come on. I'm going to take it all the way out of gear, but try and get it down to its minimum speed. Getting less and less happy about coming in. Whoop, there he goes. I'm down to the leader. I got a lot of leader on this. So, okay. come on around here. Stay away from that engine. Oh, bloody great toad, you mongrel. Oh. It's got to come in because I want my lure back. Oh Jesus, he's bitten and lure off. Bit the end off my lure, you mongrel. In that case, you can go in there and keep the bloody thing, you mongrel. Another lure gone. This is the lure, as you can see the end of it's been bitten off, so yet another lure gone.
and this is the culprit. I should have actually opened his mouth and taken a picture of his teeth for those of you that haven't seen them. They're very impressive. Next time I catch one, which I hope is never, I will try and remember to take a picture of the teeth though. I've actually seen a big one of these bite halfway through the handle of a wooden gap. This was another malfunction of the hat cam. I don't know what's going on with it. I think maybe the battery wasn't real good. But anyway, I did get this somewhat on the camera mounted on the dash, although the audio is terrible. I wasn't doing any good trolling where I was, so I decided I'd go and have a look around various places to see if I could find somewhere to use that pike as a live bait. I finally ended up at Harry's, and there's really, I only had one mark that didn't already have a bait on it. And this is the sounder shot from going over that mark. From the sounder, I wouldn't normally have stopped there, but as soon as I had the pike to use up and I was sort of out of options, I could have gone and tried the shallow reefs, but it was getting on a bit and I wanted to do a bit of trolling for mackerel. And by the time I'd done all that, it would be time to pick up the crab pots. So anyway, I decided to stop at Harry's and just try the pike there, have a little bit of a fish for a little while and then go and do the mackerel trolling. So as I say, not normally somewhere that I would have stopped on the strength of the sound of reading, but that's what I did. I'm going to have my live bait. And I don't want that to happen. Jeez, he's not going to let go of it. Go and find yourself something else. Alright, put him out this side then. Give him a bit of a toss and see how, see if he can get away from him. There we go. Judging by the angle of the line, the live bait wasn't going down as deep as I wanted him to. So I decided to pull him back aboard and put a slightly larger sinker on with him. Or well, actually put a sinker on with him because I don't think I had one on that rig. Oh, a biggish sinker. I have. I'm going to put a large sinker on there as a runner. Make sure he goes down a little bit quicker than what he is. And that's the beauty of these click sinkers. Change the size of sinker, more or less weight, any time, no tying of lines, just a matter of a few seconds. This horse, not yours, not yours either. Trust me, you don't want it. Bit me off. Shit. Uh, bit the hook straight off. 
clean bite. Oh well, so much for that rig. Didn't last long there. The plan was to troll for snapper and mackerel during the day, so I didn't bring very much bait at all. But I did bring some of these frozen bonitos that I'd caught previously. They make a great strip bait when you fillet them. Very meaty, uh, bloody, oily sort of flesh. And most things love them. And after you've got the fillets off, don't throw the rest away. Cut it up into small chunks and just feed it out as a burly trail. The bones are soft enough just to cut through with your knife. Got a board pop. And I got something on him. Oh, not big. Mackerel. Ah, shit. That was my fault. I didn't grab it down low enough. They're yeah, not having a good day for things getting away on me. He would have been sized too, that one. Yeah, it's totally my fault. I should have gone and reached down lower on the line so that my arm didn't lift up high enough to get him to clear the bait. It's easy to look at it with hindsight and know what you did wrong. Never mind, there might be more. Maybe got something? I uh, don't think so. If it is, it's Brenner. Small. It doesn't look like it's anything there. Check it. Oh. Must have got hit and just didn't take the uh, hook. I had it up. Gone, might have gone down again. I changed speed, but I'm going to have to bring it in and check it. Might get one here if I'm lucky. Yeah, got something on him. Now, don't blow it at the bait this time. What have we got? Grinner. Grinner, Grinner. This other one's up too. Now, hope we do better than the Grinner this time. I think we've got something on him. Oh, uh, another Grinner. Another Grinner. Oh, come on, you may as well be crab bait. Come on, don't be a grinner this time. Oh, I don't think it is. It feels heavier. Oh, I think we got one. Now, not to blow it at the boat. Oh, blew it before he got to the boat. He got off. I definitely had one. Damn, this just isn't my day. This is one of those days you just should have stayed in bed. Oh, huh? This one's up too. Oh, come, yes. Yeah. Definitely something on him. Mug. What'd you do that for? They're going really well until you went under. Oh, it's another grinner, is it? Looks about that size. Oh dear. This is up again. Oh, another bloody grinner. Uh, okay, come on. 
You'd be great. Packing up, but there's nothing, nothing really worth having on it. If there's anything, it's just a grinner. Yep, just a grinner. Oh, well, I've done well with the grinners today. Nothing much else, so. I hooked up the three mackerel while I was trolling for them. I didn't manage to get any of them into the boat. I got one of them almost over the gunnel, my fault. Didn't grab the line low enough and by the time I'd reached my arm up as high as it'd go, he hadn't cleared the gunnel. So, really dumb mistake to make. Uh, the other two, one of them I got to see, but I didn't have the hat cam on for that, but he, I sort of saw him a little bit in the distance and I don't know he got off the hook and the other one got off the hook, I didn't even get to see him. I know he was there just from the weight of the line, but I don't know what happened to him. Anyway, out of three, I got a zero. Pretty much par for the day. However, as you can see from this shot of the sounder screens, there was random schools of bait all around, so a healthy sign for the bay. The schools of predators will be moving through eventually, just a matter of when. And of course, even though I had a fairly reasonable sol lunar day, the water was dirty, the wind was from the north, and we had a big tide, so all of that went against it. That well, doesn't feel too good. But I'll be happy to be proved wrong. Oh, come on, where are you? All the way under there. Oh, there we've got one in, two, three. Oh! There's another muddy. I think it's a female though. Jeez, she's got some barnacles on her. Pretty sure it is a female. Hey, leave him alone. I might want to eat him. I don't think I will because I think he's too small, but... You just never know. Gonna be borderline if he is. Good afternoon, Northwest. This is BMR Radio. Yeah. Shy by about two mil. Now, yeah, let's just check what you are. Pretty sure you're going to be female, aren't you? Yep, you are. Oh well. I don't think there's any, nothing worth having, is there? All Jennies. Oh, one male. One male. My wife might get a crab for dinner. Yes, one keeper. <laughs> so not quite a donut. And thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you've got something out of the videos that I've done during the year. And I plan to do more of them in 2024. Hopefully a lot more. And I hope to be able to give you some more spots to investigate, see if you can catch some fish, and some more tips on how to catch them. So for now, wish you a happy new year.
Don't celebrate too hard and get out on the water next year. Hope to see you there. Until then, good fishing.